Urban areas worldwide are suffering from jammed motorways, air pollution and noisy environments, but especially in cities. One contributing factor is the transport need. Billions of tons of goods are transported all over Europe every day. Online purchasing and just-in-time delivery is increasing every day. A logistical system under maximum pressure due to tight just-in-time schedules. Transport providers and truck manufacturers face a major challenge to change this. Now the Swedish truck company Volvo Trucks shows that electric trucks can supply a more sustainable solution to the everyday requirements of the transport sector and society with a new fully electric truck. At the world premiere in Gothenburg, Volvo Trucks claims to be the first global manufacturer to offer an electric series produced heavy duty truck to a customer. We believe uh, that uh, the technology is mature today already when it comes to the performance and the range and the weight for these type of applications that we present today for uh, city use. Uh, this is a refuse truck but also for city distribution and we believe that this is, this is the future. Trucks applications in cities are many and varied to keep city life running. From daily delivery to shops and warehouses, transports for removals, construction work or refuse collection. The challenge? Transport plays a major and vital role in cities, both in bringing relevant goods to relevant places and not to pollute these areas at the same time. Because of urbanization, politicians have to improve urban planning and transports. Electromobility will pave the way for new solutions. With the first electric truck, there should be a lot of opportunities to put down the pollution problem now. So I think the electrification is here to stay. And uh, well, I have big hopes for Gothenburg, but also for the environmental issue global, actually. The global community is following the progress within electromobility. There is a considerable and growing interest in electric trucks. Let's have a closer look. What can the new Volvo FL Electric really achieve? The FL Electric is a two-axle, 18-ton heavy-duty truck. The conventional driveline is replaced with a fully electric driveline and energy storage system. The manufacturer explained to international trade journalists at the introduction. The driveline consists of a small but powerful electrical motor with 185 kilowatts peak power and 130 kilowatts in continuous power. And what's interesting is that the size of this driveline for such a large vehicle is actually not much larger than a smaller conventional uh, combustion engine for a passenger car. Uh, we can uh, specify the vehicle with different uh, battery capacity depending on the needs of the customer because our philosophy is that we should not put more batteries than required both from a cost perspective, from a uh, payload perspective but also from a sustainability perspective. But what we can do is we can fit between 100 and 300 kilowatt hours which uh, in ideal conditions gives a range up to 300 kilometers. But it's not only range that is important. The Electricity project in Gothenburg is one example of how to bring together the experience of industry, research and society in the development and testing of solutions for next generation sustainable transport. A bus route offers quiet, exhaust-free buses that pick up passengers indoors and are powered by electricity from renewable sources. This and the experience of more than 4,000 electrified buses have also influenced the development of the new electric truck. But can electrical vehicles really change modern urban traffic? Now this truck, as it is quiet, you can use it uh, during night time without uh, disturbing uh, sleeping uh, citizens. And of course, uh, if you do transportation during uh, night hours instead of during the day, uh, you offload the, the peak hours in terms of congestion, and, and that's a big benefit for the city. Volvo Trucks President Klaus Nielsen has announced to start sales and serious production of the Volvo FL Electric in 2019. The holistic view is crucial for a global manufacturer in order to continuously find new ways to reduce the environmental footprint of the transport industry. And looking forward, there won't be one solution for all kind of transports. 
That's why there are also LNG-driven trucks powered by liquefied natural gas as an alternative to diesel to reduce emissions. For example, the Volvo FH LNG emits 20% less CO2 than a regular one. This shows how transports can be more sustainable both for the environment and for the businesses. And it's not only about technology. It is important that cities, energy suppliers, infrastructure providers and vehicle manufacturers cooperate. This is the only way to make large-scale electromobility a reality. The first trucks are already entering regular operation in Gothenburg, such as this electric refuse truck for a local waste collection company. An important step for even bigger tasks to come.